Ooh. What do we have here? A torture room, eh? I guess it is. Let's close this door. Oh, wow, my sanity is dropping. Uh. Doing, doing, doing. I should probably get out of here, really. This is not helping anyone. <laughs> The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave away to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. This is horrible! I want to get out of here! Oh, good lord. Is there anything I can even do here except maybe spin this thing around? This is not helping me at all, is it? No, this is just decreasing my sanity, it would seem. Um, yeah. There's, um... Is there really nothing here except for just a bunch of stuff? Fuck it. Hmm, maybe if I lower this thing again. Secretly, I just want to go really insane, just walk around like that and see how bad it will go. Ooh, is this actually increasing my sanity again? Probably not, but still, it seemed to do something at least. I'm just gonna leave. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave. This probably isn't. Probably blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Leaving is what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing right now. Let me guess there's a monster here now. That'd be good. That'd be great. I would love that so much right now. Have a monster just punch me in the face for going into that room and playing with the torture chamber. <laughs> Why did I play with the torture chamber? That's just not a good idea ever. Or anything. How's my sanity? Yeah, I figured as much. It's gone. Oh, is this gonna lead to another torture chamber or something? The cradle is ready. Good. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man! It was an accident! He set a man on fire! It wasn't my fault! Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible! Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. How do you accidentally set someone on fire? I mean... I, I'm... Probably just gonna guess that these people were probably all innocent from the sounds of it, but I, I don't know. Ooh, piece of orb. Ooh, look at that. No, no, please. I'll do anything. Whatever you want. Anything. I'll do anything. I Oh dear. Well now, uh, is there anything I can do with this? Yeah, I can. I can touch that thing as well. The arsonist kept crying as he just slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They hadn't meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method, it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. Good God. Okay, leave me again. This is not a good place, but I did find a piece of the orb. Yeah, it's purple. Its texture and color are permanently changing. Is it? Looks pretty purple to me still. But there you go. I, I'm not a, I'm not an old master, I suppose. Hmm. This is an unpleasant area. I want to leave here. I got my orb. I want to go. <laughs> I just want to leave. I want to go to Agrippa and have a nice conversation with him about tea and his favorite crumpets and Johan Wyatt. That's the kind of thing I imagined Joe him talking about. Well, my sound actually went up from getting that piece of the orb, I guess. Ooh, yeah, come on. Ah! There you go. Room number three. Who knows what could be in here? How's my oil doing? It's not doing too bad. It's not doing... There we go. Not doing too bad. What are these noises? Oh, wow. That's a saw, isn't it? Yeah. These are unpleasant noises again. Though I must say, the first Saw movie was very fun. I, I definitely enjoyed watching that. Just random notes here. Saw was interesting. Sequels were different. <laughs> uh, that's, and that's my random Saw mention. 
for this game, I guess. Ugh. The rapist hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flowing from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself into the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. That's not really torture, that's just murder, really. But, there you go. Can I take the saw with me? It's like a nice saw. You never know when you need a good saw. Ugh. I guess there's saws are plenty lying around. Oh, there's another piece of the orb over there. Come on. Crouch. Yep, there's another piece of the orb. And my sanity is pretty much gone again. I'm gonna say, not a good living space. Not good. Not at all, governor. And I am seriously expecting someone to be there now because, I mean, we've already picked up two pieces of the orb and no one's stopping us at all. What is going on? Seriously. I'm not trusting this one bit. Uh, my vision is being all wobbly again, which is not good. It makes it really hard to move around. Oh, there we go. It is good that it goes away after a while, but it's still really annoying. There's another person hanging in that cage. Help wow, this is really... Find a way. Help who? Most of the people here are already dead, Daniel. Though I guess these are just the voices in your head. And that's another one of those paintings of uh, Alexander going wobbly. Oh, Alexander, you go wobbly so often. Let's look at him for good measure. <laughs> oh, man. Hi. Ooh. A nice room amongst the madness. I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all. I mean, everything is horrible. You never know when you need a good buzz saw. I wonder if I can throw this into thing. No, that just, no. What game was it where you can have a buzz saw and launch it into the wall? Was that Half-Life 2? I don't remember. But uh, let's see what we have in here. Nothing. Nothing. Note. Notes on torture. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps are to take are, therefore, to restrain while a victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, there's a space missing here by the way, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient as it will trigger itself into greatest fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also apply the pain in doses, if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to process or produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. One, only with the careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Amnesia with a capital A. Title name drop! But there you go. Yeah. Lots of notes on torture, lots of people with skulls in the painting. Very un... ungood. Got some string. You never know where you need some string after all. And hmm, is there anything of interest here except for just a whole, a whole lot of books? Oh, there's some oil. That's a weird place to put oil. I wonder if there's a genie in any of these lamps. What if we can put this lamp inside this vase? Uh, no, put it on top of it. That, that's pretty good. I'm I'm content with this. No, ooh, it's another one of these. Is it you, my love, I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them. A demonic sultan perched on a dark mountain top. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. 
I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. If it if I can't return home now, I shall perish. Yeah. Lots of oogly booglies. We don't like the oogly booglies, so we're just going to leave with our string in hand. I have no idea what I would use string for. Maybe I can combine... Ooh, this one's red. Neat. I wonder if I can combine the string with anything I have. Adventure game logic. Use everything on everything. But uh, let's not mess with that until we really are stuck, I suppose. I guess picking up that string made this painting a lot nicer. Because <laughs> string makes the sanity go away. It will only give you a slight headache when before you are seeing things. So yes, going insane? Get some string. That is my life lesson for today. Uh, I've forgotten which entrance the entrance... I think this was the entrance, actually. And uh, to be frank, I am quite done here. I uh, don't really feel like going back here again, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Carefully cutting the man open made him think. This is how father must feel about his craft. Being an artisan, relying on one's skills to perform something so delicate grants a certain form of pride. Yeah. Scary people, all of you. All of you are scary bastards. And I don't like you anymore. I'm gonna talk to Grippa, he's nice. Is there something else? Yeah. Not really Let's walls, have a conversation. They sometimes consume themselves. Or break, then used by an uninitiated. I was lucky. The orb I found spared my life and returned to where I found it. I know because Alexander took it and brought it to Brydenburg. Okay, that was a nice conversation we had there, Gripper. So, um, let's see what's in this hallway to see if, um,. There's more ores. I guess there's probably more ore pieces lying scattered around the area. Hmm. Yeah, at least we already found two of them, so uh, only a certain amount of numbers to go. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm guessing that's one of those doors that leads to a different area. That's like at least sort of qua or cha. I have no idea. I've forgotten how to pronounce that again. That's really annoying. Why do I keep forgetting how to pronounce that word? And I do mean that word. I've said that word so many times, and I've said it wrong every single time. And then someone says it in game, and I go, Oh, that's how you pronounce it. And then I forget it instantly. Uh, mm -hmm. It's more of that chemical stuff here. Delirium tremendous Badness. That's what it is. It's all badness. Everything here is badness. There's another note here. Agrippa channels wire. Ooh. Wire taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such a lack of compassion in the seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the world beyond. Hmm. Wire claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that means... But he... But that he needs me to give him a grip at first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige. But how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain to it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Wayer told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, Vitae and Tantor. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from the large specimen. The something seems to be an infertile ground for this sort. I should then be able to extract this content with proper tools. The vitae should be extracted as usual from any agonized ma human victim's blood. I just need a large amount of it to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tamter, on the other hand, will prove to be more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looked wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water-dwelling Kyrng. I will have to address Weyer with this as he has to supply me with a host. As also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Oh, that's what that is. So I guess the Tamter would be the um, remains we have now, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. And the Vitae could be the string! Yes! I have no idea, but there's probably some Vitae lying around as one of those things again. I will read that in a second. It's in the book. And a bunch of nothings. Let's see what this thing has to say then. 
In court, the Order of the Black Eagle spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I have seen them take their father's places and they too will grow old and pass away, while I remain the same, aged not by time but by anguish. <laughs> Everyone here seems to have a pretty bad bloody life, so I'm just gonna go to the qua. Yeah, such filth, he thought. Good men can safely cheer their departure as they are nothing but burden to mankind. They shall not be missed. And even though they will not be missed, I think I'll miss them. Just saying. And I'm just gonna see what's inside these doors. A lot of, uh, nastiness again, it seems. Everything here just seems particularly nasty for some reason. Like this note, it's a nasty note. 15th Holy of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Oh! Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander still produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry. Alexander. You must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. I seriously can't get out of this crouching position, it's really annoying. I didn't do anything. Paint the man, cut the lines, paint the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. You know, Daniel is a pretty terrifying person. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. I am quite terrified right now. I don't really want to go here. I'm just going to close the door again. <laughs> okay, fine. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. But yeah, I'm going to say that was really weird because I was crouching when I picked up the letter. It seemed like I was crouching the entire time. And I couldn't do anything about it. That was really weird. But, uh, there you go. Weirdness is part of this game, I suppose. It's, uh... Holy sh... Schumannheigen. Do I still have that knife? No, I don't. Is the knife still here? No, it isn't. I guess it was really just a flashback. Is my sanity weird? Yeah, it is. It's... Down to nothing. Oh, uh, were these people here before? I don't remember seeing this person... Hanging here. Oh my god, what have I done? Why must I always make everything worse by poking things? Ugh. I'm just gonna turn up the light. I have no reason to put my lantern on there. Oh well. Hmm. She deserved it, that little bitch. Oh, Daniel. Mark, mind your language, Daniel. It's just no, just no. Ooh, it's an old. Right. Well. I'm gonna say, I am gonna think I'm gonna put this bucket on someone's head because I just feel like it. I wonder if I can put this bucket on top of this. Ooh, I wonder if I can put the bucket on top of those people's heads. I mean, they're hanging, but still, it's worth a shot. Do, 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 do. This is important because I'm terrified and I need something. This thing is spinning all over the place. Mm, yeah! Hooray! <laughs> this is the most important thing anyone has ever found out about this game. I'm glad I have contributed to science, but, um, yeah, this place is terrifying, and my throat really hurts, so I'm gonna take a little break here, watch this guy hanging over here, he's pretty happy, he has a nice, nice tattoo of an S, yeah, 
I like it. I would like. I would have that tattoo on my chest. Yes. So um, I hope you've enjoyed it so far, and I hope I can record a little bit more of this because I haven't really recorded any of this in a while. But uh, it's not like there are other playthroughs I haven't really neglected lately. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll, fa I'll continue with that soon. But um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Once we're downstairs. Did I come from downstairs or upstairs? I don't remember. I guess I came from upstairs. But yeah, I'll go through this door the next time. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.